Hello, in this session, we will create a simple slash effect using the Niagara system. First, we create a material. Set the material's blend mode to translucent and check two-sided to make both the outside and inside surfaces visible. Next, create a text cord node and extract the green channel using a component mask node. Then, use an add node to offset the UV's Y axis by zero. Then, use an add node to offset the UV's Y axis by 0 0.5. Use the absolute node to extract the absolute value of the UVs to create a black line in the middle. Then, invert the colors using the one minus node. Connect a power node, and then connect a parameter node to make the line thinner. You create a parameter node by clicking while pressing the S key on your keyboard. Create a radial gradient exponential node, which provides a circular gradient shape and use another multiply node to multiply the line and circle to create the slash shape. Use a constant node to adjust the diameter of the circular gradient. You can create a constant node by clicking while pressing the number one on your keyboard. Next, in the Niagara system, to set the color or opacity, create particle color and dynamic parameter nodes. Create two multiply nodes and connect the nodes as shown in the video to set the material's emissive color. Then, use another multiply node to multiply the slash shape with the alpha pin of the particle color node to set the material's opacity. Finally, to make the slash look sharp, create a vertex normal node. Then, use a multiply node to connect the slash shape Next, use multiply and parameter nodes to set the intensity of the vertex normal and connect it to world position offset to make the slash protrude. Then add a directional burst emitter to create a Niagara system. Remove the sprite renderer and add a mesh renderer. Set the mesh to editor sphere and set the material to the slash material we've made. Next, in the emitter state, set the loop behavior to infinite to repeat the creation of particles. In spawn, burst instantaneous, reduce the number of particles, and set local space in properties. To emit slash in place, set the value after setting mode from point in add velocity. And remove gravity force. Then, to generate slash in random directions, create an initial mesh orientation. Next, create an update mesh orientation to rotate the randomly generated slash in one direction. Then, in scale color, Set scale RGB to linear color to set the slash's color and alpha value.
Next, create dynamic material parameters and set the brightness value of the slash. To add an animation effect to the slash, add scale mesh size and set vector from float to allow setting the overall size of the mesh. Then, set a curve to the designated float so that the slash gradually grows as it is generated. Finally, in Initialize Particle, set the lifetime of the particle and the initial scale of the mesh. Now, place the created Niagara system in the level to check if the slash effect appears.